This is the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Brody Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching and publishing services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Brody, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Gene Ginsberg, author of Win New Customers. Gene, welcome to the show. Great. Thank you very much for having me. It's such a pleasure to be here. You ready to get started? Absolutely. Yes. Let's get let's get into it. All right. So what is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? So I would say my piece of advice for first-time authors, if they're, I would say the, the, the step bef- right before they started writing their book is uh, to make this process a little bit easier for them, especially since they're first-time uh, publishers and first-time authors, is uh, to outline your book first. So let's say you want to uh, you want to have ten chapters in your book. So outline uh, each chapter. So have a name for each chapter, and then maybe five to ten bullet points of the of the points that you want to discuss in each chapter. And then my recommendation would be to speak each chapter into a recording device, like your iPhone or some other recording device, and have that be the basis of your book. So if you speak about, I don't know, about seven to 10 minutes for each chapter, that's usually about the length of a normal chapter. And then what you do is you get it transcribed by, there's companies out there like rev.com that allow you to just transcribe for just $1 a minute. And then you have basically the foundation of your book. I mean, of course, it'll require some editing and reviewing, but this is a good way, I think, to get started for first-time authors. Absolutely. Yeah, on one of our first episodes, that's one of the things that I talked about with our, um, is what I do with my clients, is definitely utilize Rev because it's simple, it's easy to use, you can hit record. And as you mentioned, each chapter can be about seven to 10 minutes of audio, sometimes a little bit more. And it's just such an easy way to do it. We can do it on your commute. You can do it at home. It really makes the writing process excuse proof. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. At that point, yeah. There's. I think the excuses or the the I guess issues that people come up with when they start writing is like, oh, you know, I'm just staring at a blank screen on my computer, and it's so difficult. And getting the motivation to get started can be difficult. And I can understand that absolutely. So having this uh, recording, you know, because you can just speak about a certain topic, it's very easy to do that. It, and it makes this so much easier. Absolutely. Well, what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? I'd say staying organized. That was uh, the, the like having all the balls in the air at the same time. Um, and I know for me, when I, right before I, you know, I, I was writing my book, or and it took me about four months to get it done to actually finish the um, the writing piece of it. But then about a month before the actual launch date, there were all of these things that I had to work on, like getting my cover done and. Uh, doing a marketing plan and creating a strategy for doing Facebook Lives and and creating a strategy for reaching out to my network so that I uh, all of these things that I wanted to do in order to become a number one bestseller on Amazon because um, you know as as we know for how to get to be a number one bestseller you have a lot you have to have a lot of people buying your book at a very short amount of time so in the first like hour or two hours when you launch it that's how you become a, an Amazon bestseller at least in, in my experience and so uh, just getting organized and staying on top of all the different pieces that I had to do. I actually implemented a Trello board. Uh, Trello is a project management tool, if you're not familiar with that, and had uh, cards for every single day that I had to do and a checklist for every single day of all of the tasks that I had to do. So, to, so for example, today I had to do a Facebook Live and write an article on LinkedIn about one of my chapters and post to social media and do a podcast episode. So it was a lot of pieces that were uh, that were happening, especially the week before the launch. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of things with the processes, but yeah, you bring a great point having those checklists and having those processes because systems, frameworks, and processes makes all the difference in publishing. Absolutely. Well, with anything, but especially with this, you know, when you're getting down to the launch, it's hard to keep track of everything. Absolutely. Well, please share a a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that worked well. Yeah, so I I touched a little bit on it in my previous uh, response, but really getting your network involved. I'd say that that's what what I feel got me to be a number one bestseller is uh, 
making sure to communicate with your entire network. So all of your, let's say, friends on Facebook, all of your LinkedIn connections, any other social media that you're using, or just um, people that you've met in the past, um, people in your network, people, colleagues, people in your industry. So um, that was a really big, um, I guess, concept for me when I was creating my launch plan is that I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware and I was driving awareness to my book. Um, and I really felt like that was really what pushed it to be a number one bestseller is because so many people were just so supportive of, of the book that it was, um, it was amazing. Yes, that old adage, your network is your net worth, right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Well, let's talk about your favorite book. So what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Well, I'm, there's a number of favorite books that I've had. And just as a side note, um, since the beginning of this year in 2018, I, um, I created a, a little challenge for myself that I would read or listen on audio to at least one book a month. And I think I exceeded that. I, 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 it's now what we're in month eight. And I think I, at this point, have gone through maybe about 15 books or so this year. And most of them have been entrepreneurship books and uh, books about leadership and management um, and mindset so um, but one of the one one of the most recent books that I absolutely love has been crushing it by Gary Vaynerchuk and I don't know if you're familiar with Gary but he's one of my gurus that I follow <laughs> uh, pretty much all the time I mean I've had I've been following him for the last couple of years and I listen to his podcast and listen to his videos on a pretty much on a regular basis, on a weekly basis. So when his book came out recently, I think it came out in the beginning of the year, I really wanted to read it. And I thought it was just, uh, you know, he's just so on top of everything that's going on in social media and digital marketing these days that, you know, for someone like me who eats this up every day, I just thought it was an amazing book. And uh, one of the things that I learned from it um, is adding value. I mean, that, that's something that, of course, I was doing before, but just reiterating that whole concept of like adding value to your audiences, to your community, to your network before taking anything or having any sort of expectations, but just really um, adding as much value as possible. Yeah, Gary Vee taught a lot of great lessons with that. So is Seth Godin. It's one of those nice things where you give freely and it just it's like karma. It all comes back got to you. But yep. you know, you gotta take care of people and you've got to give value for it to come back. Yep. So let's talk about your favorite quote. What is your favorite quote and why? Yeah, and I think it ties a little bit into my previous point about um, adding value. So my one of my favorite quotes is by Albert Einstein, and it's try not to be become a person of success, but rather try to become a person of value. So and that's just been such a, um, a, a, a long string of ideas in, in my business, um, you know, with my community and my network is, you know, really add value. And like I said, you know, in my previous responses, um, it's so important to do that. Um, so many times where I see businesses, you know, just wanting to push products, or I like take, 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 but really add value first. Um, and you will just get such a better response from people um, and get to know them much better um, than if you're just trying to push some sort of product or service. Absolutely. Well, Gene, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Yeah, so being a digital marketing person, uh, expert, I am very active on social media. So you can find me on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. Um, just to put in my name to Google, Gene Ginsburg. That's J E A N G I N Z B U R G, Gene Ginsburg. And I'm, I'm going to come up on social media. So I absolutely would love to. I'll connect with everybody here who's listening to this podcast on social media. Additionally, I would love to give my book away for free in PDF format. So uh, instant download if you want to read more about digital marketing, how I worked with my clients, and how I've grown their businesses. Um, just go to geneginsburg.com slash get published, geneginsburg.com slash get published, and um, instant download to start reading and implementing in your business today. And just to tell our audience, Gene did ask me about the um, what to put after the site. So I said, you're more than welcome to use Get Published. So definitely go out there, grab a copy of your book. I know it's, I'm going to do that in just a moment. And Gene, thank you again for being on the show. And I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at Get Published Podcast. 
www.thepowerhouse.com.